hello my loves thank you for coming back to watch my video my name is irene for those of you who are new thank you for joining kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel leave a comment turn on your bell notification for more of my videos and let's roll together all right so if you would like to see how i came up with this hot spicy yummy spaghetti kindly stay tuned and keep watching all right so as you can see i got my ginger garlics onions actually there are two onions and also i got my green beans i got my carrots and i got my green chili pepper you can actually use any type of pepper of your choice and i got my tomatoes so these are the tomatoes which i had at home available so but you can use any type of tomato i got my vegetable oil as you can see and basically these are what i'm going to be using to cook this yummy spaghetti all right so first thing first i started by washing my vegetables my ginger my garlics my onions my pepper which i did that off camera just so this video wouldn't be too long all right so i washed everything then chopped those which are to be chopped and blend those which are to be blend as you can see i chopped the green beans the carrots then i'm blending the ginger the garlics and the green chili pepper together Actually guys, you do not have to use the green chili pepper if you want your spaghetti to end up having that thick red beautiful look but if you must use the green chili pepper and still want that look then you have to add more thin tomatoes i mean the tomato paste okay you have to add more tomato paste to get the look which you so desire to have all right All right, so I already had my water boiling on the fire while I was preparing the vegetables. I did not show you when I put my water on the fire because I do believe that everyone already knows how to boil water, all right? All right, so in that water, I have just salt and um, i believe some of you already know that i do like to break my spaghetti into two before boiling it as you can see actually this is a choice you don't have to do it my own way you can do it your way the way you want you can just put it in as long as it is like that but for me i like to break it into two usually i do not go for this type of thin tomatoes when i'm doing my spaghetti but because this was the one i found when i went to the supermarket nearby my house so i had no choice but to have it okay as you can see our spaghetti is boiled and soft right now so i'm just going to take it down drain the water put another water keep it aside then proceed with the next step my reason for leaving the boiled spaghetti inside water before the time i want to use it is because i don't want it to get stick all together by the time i'm ready to mix it in the sauce so that is why i put some extra water and keep it aside all right so as you can see right now we're just going to begin with the sauce first thing first i'm putting my vegetable oil as you can see then i fry my onions all right so that's the tomatoes which i just add into the pot as you can tell and right now i'm going to add the mixed blended green chili pepper ginger and garlic stir for a while cover it and let it boil then i'll add the maggi which i did not show you from the beginning of the video yeah i'm adding maggi maggi is a seasoning so this is maggi as you can see i'll add maggi add salt then i will add the vegetables which are the carrots and the green beans so keep watching okay so right now i'm just going to stir it as you can see cover it and let it cook for five minutes 
then i will drain the water from the spaghetti mix it in the sauce cover it and let it cook for another five minutes my reason for allowing the spaghetti to stay in water before i use it is because i do not want the spaghetti to get stick all together by the time i'm ready to mix them into the sauce all right so that's why i had to let it stay in water so that it will come out just the way it is looking right now Okay, so right now we're going to mix everything together as you can see, then cover it and let it cook for another five minutes like I said earlier, just so the ingredients will get into the spaghetti and everything will have one yummy taste. As you can see right now, our spaghetti is ready and believe you me guys, it tastes so good and it is spicy. I wish y'all could taste it but never mind if you do want to taste any of my food someday leave a comment down below in the comment section and i'm going to invite you if you do not live far from where i live i'm going to invite you and cook something nice for you all right thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet leave a comment let me know your thoughts and also do not forget to turn on your bell notification so that you will not miss any of my future video thank you so much i will see you all in my next video